What's going on guys? Now it looks a lot like I'm in Rick and Morty's garage, but I assure you this is my Oculus Quest 2 home environment. Not only that, I can snap my fingers, boom, I'm hanging out on the couch with Homer Simpson in the Simpsons living room. How cool is this? Snap my fingers, and here we go. I am now chilling with SpongeBob at the Krusty Patty and all the gang. Want to get a little spooky? Double snap my fingers, and I'm hanging out with this guy in the portal home environment. Now tell me this is not Mark Zuckerberg. Mark, you better not be spying on us, okay? You better not be watching everything we're doing on our quests. Oh, that's just creepy. So I'm gonna show you today how to get all these environments plus more with a brand new feature baked now right in the side quest nobody's talking about. It's super easy once you know how, and let's get into it coming up on Hey guys, what's going on? Derek here from VR Dynamite, our brand new YouTube channel. And I got a spicy one for you today. Now, first of all, there is a hidden dynamite in this video and all my videos. When you see it, comment the timestamp below and tell me the game you don't own but wish you did for a chance to win that game. Now, what sparked this video was I realized I have been locked in my loft for over a year. It's been a stay at home order after a stay at home order. Canada is a mess right now and I am getting a little claustrophobic. Now, the one thing that got me through this whole pandemic was my Oculus Quest and escaping into VR. But as we all know, Oculus has not updated their home environments in what's been at least a year and I am starting to get tired of those. Luckily enough, SideQuest snuck in a brand new feature that makes it easier than ever to change your home environment. And there are some really cool ones there. You've seen some in the intro. Just check it out. It puts you right in the garage of Rick and Morty or sticks you right in Portal. It is just a refreshing change of pace and it's actually easier and less scarier than you think. First of all, you need to know how to use SideQuest and you have to have SideQuest enabled. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link to a video below that teaches you exactly how to. It's super simple. Now it's so easy and so fast that we will make this a two minute tip and start the clock now. Okay, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is start up your Oculus Quest, put it on, go into settings. Once you're in settings, go to your home environment. Now we wanna make sure, and this is very important, that we have uninstalled all our home environments, but maybe one of your favorites. Once they are all uninstalled, you can take your headset off, go over to your computer, and plug it in like you normally would to connect to SideQuest. Now when it's plugged in your computer, you may have to put the headset back on and click the allow access to your computer option. Once you've allowed access, all you gotta do is open up SideQuest, go into games and select that new home environments tab. And in there, you're gonna find all these amazing home environments. Now you could do this before, but SideQuest has made it easier than ever. So all you have to do is select the home environment you want. In this example, we have the Simpsons and now you'll see a download icon on the main kind of th thumbnail. You can't click that, that won't work. I'll show you why in a second. You have to actually click and go into that home environment page. Once you're in there, you'll see a list of all the stock home environments. Now what this does is this simply just replaces one of the stock home environments in your system with this new one. So select the one you'd like and that's it. Now, if you see an error come up on the bottom, a little orange bar, that means you're trying to install a home environment that already is installed. That's why we first went and we uninstalled all those in step one. So if you get that error, just go back in your headset, go in your home environments, and click uninstall and click the three little buttons you see and you'll see the uninstall option come up and you can uninstall those there. It's that simple. Then go back and you'll see a green bar. Success, it is installed. You now have your home environment. I've loaded up all the ones I really wanted to and now what you can do is you can unplug from the computer, you can put on your headset, go into settings, go into home environment and select the one you want and voila, you've been transported into a brand new home environment. Okay, now you're probably wondering, okay, well, what happens if I ever wanna get the stock home environment back. It's so simple. In your home environment settings, all you have to do is whatever home environment you want to bring back, go and uninstall it just like I taught you and then reinstall it. And what happens is when you reinstall it from the Quest headset, it goes into Oculus and it reloads that original environment back. Okay, now when you first go in, you will probably get a notification from the Oculus store and it may be scary I got a screenshot of it. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. It says, our platform abuse policy prohibits piracy, illicit modding, cheating, or unauthorized usage. If this unofficial version of Winter Lodge is not for development purposes, please restore the app to the Oculus Store version now. Don't click restore, click close, okay? This is your Oculus Quest, and these home environments are handmade 
and it, I believe, I am not a lawyer, however, fall under a fair use policy. They're not charging you for this. You can download it and enjoy it for your own personal use. And I highly recommend you do. So all you need to do is click close. That's the hardest part of this whole thing. You've been brave, congratulations. Now enjoy these environments. And honestly, you have nothing to worry about. SideQuest works hand in hand with Facebook these days, okay? They're partners. The uh, support the App Lab and Facebook supports the SideQuest. So this would not be a built-in new feature in SideQuest and SideQuest would not allow these if they felt like there was gonna be a copyright issue ever one day, okay? So honestly, don't worry about it. And it's very easy, as I've showed you, to restore these. Okay, let's stop the clock. How do we do? <laughs> Over. And not too bad, <laughs> okay? This is really truly a very simple thing to do and I recommend you try it out right now today and thank me later. Now let me know in the comments what environment you chose and did you find the hidden dynamite? Now that's all for me today. This was a quick two minute tip and if you're wondering about how I'm giving away $50,000 in Quest games and prizes, check out this video here if you've already seen that one. This one's amazing too, check it out. That's all, take care. Bar. Bar. Bar.